Hi guys, welcome to week two. So I hope you did that first workout another time. And now we're coming into a little more serious stuff. Like I said, we're gonna try to improve what we did in week one. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to go back in my videos and do week one before you even come here. Trust me, because I lead you through a lot of things. Okay, so I'm gonna do like three exercises. I'm gonna lead you through the first round, and then I want you to repeat it three times. Repetition, repetition, repetition. Three times only, why? Because science says that's the way you build the muscle group the best. Don't, don't screw with science, I guess, you know, they're smart. So, we're gonna come here, the first exercise we're gonna do, totally basic, but I like to do a full range of motion, which is a little different. If you do a full range of motion, you're gonna get a little leaner muscle, in my opinion, because that's what I do, and these are pretty lean, okay? So, always lift weight, that by the last rep, you're kind of like grunting a little, or you feel like, mm. If you're doing five pound weights, how much, Sorry, ladies, I was more targeted. How much is your uh, purse? How much is it when you have to move the couch? How much is it when you lift your child? It's more than five pounds, so let's get real, real. Strong, sexy, you gotta lift it. I'm gonna start with 30s. We're gonna do 12 reps. This is the first round, and um, you gotta do three. We're gonna do three different exercises. I have ADHD, so I can't stand just sitting in one place. So, you lay back. You put these weights right here by your armpit. I like to go a little further down, but be mindful of your shoulder joint. Head is up, breathing, pressing it up so you almost touch. All right, we're doing 12 of these. We'll count that one because this ain't light. So that's one, okay? Two, three, four, see, it's a little hard for me. Five, six, seven. If you get tired, you hold it up here, that's fine. Just don't give up. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Walk the talk, people. Don't just talk about it. Be strong. That's it. So I did 30s. It was pretty hard. Um, but I did it. All right? So the next thing we're going to do is a squat. Okay? So I think that when you do squats, that the weight should actually be heavier than your arms because your legs should be stronger than your, should stronger than your arms, obviously. So if you remember, squat taps. Um, we're gonna do the same deal, but holding on to a weight by your heart. So, for you, maybe do 12 pounds, I don't care. I like to lift heavy because it makes me feel so strong. When I feel strong, I feel like no one can stop me, okay? So we're gonna do 12 reps here. You're starting, you stand up, you sit down. All right, that's it. Two, three, four, five, we're gonna go Spanish. Seis, siete, Ooh. Oh, show for my, my friends in Mexico and Spain. Nueve, diez, nueve, once, doce. That's it. So, chest, legs, boom. Third thing, abs, bicycle. Take it down to the floor. Lay it on your back. Here we go. People try to pull up their neck. The key to abs, again, is engaging your navel uh, and your your abdominals, if they're just hanging out and, and poochy, you're gonna have a poochy stomach. Enough talk, okay. Space here between your chin and your chest, bringing your leg up so you cross, bringing your elbow to your knee. This leg is parallel to the ground. You bring it back up and you switch, all right? Maybe go for 45 seconds or maybe do 20 reps if you don't have a watch, all right? So I'm gonna go as quick as I can, okay? Keeping that space, if you go slower, it's fine. If you want to count how many you get in 45 seconds, do it. If you want to make it harder, put on ankle weights. You know, there's always a way. Where there's a will, there's a way. We've gone for 30 seconds. I think you get the idea, right? I don't need to keep going because God knows I don't need to work out anymore. Okay? So, we're doing the, the um, chest press followed by the squat taps or followed by the bicycle. Repeat it three times, first circuit. After the first three rounds, take a drink, and then we're gonna do one more round, okay? Next round is Steph. Um, we're gonna do bicep into shoulder press. Now, unfortunately, I forgot to get weights, and I'm not perfect, so walk me, walk me. I'm gonna grab those weights right here. For me, I'm gonna just show off and do 20s for you. Um, I may not be able to do it, because as you see, I forgot the weights. But, 
bicep curl in the shoulder press looks like this, all right? For me, I like to lengthen, it's key that your arms are all the way down, okay? So you're gonna curl up and you're gonna press. That's it, okay? So it's out here, you curl up and you press. All right, that's it. Okay, so we're gonna do 12 reps. It's a compound movement, it saves time because you're getting your uh, biceps and shoulders done. All right, here we go. So, ready? So it's one, that's it. Two, I want to show you. You can look, you know, lean and lift heavy weights. What am I, four? Here we go. Four, wide base of support helps. Five, all right. Six, halfway there. Seven, I'm using my legs a little because I have to. Eight. Nine, we're almost there. Got three left, right? Take a little rest if you need it. I'm going to. All right, three more. <laughs> 10, two more. <sighs> 11, <sighs> 12, okay. That was it. If you lift heavy weight, it gets your heart rate up too. My heart rate's pounding right now, okay? That was the first of the next circuit. Now, to rest in a little bit, uh, we're gonna come right here. One of my favorite exercises is a dumbbell row for your back. We're gonna focus on your lats here. So you get a weight that works for you. A mistake that people make is that they let their back arch, you know? You always wanna have perfect posture. So you train your body with perfect posture, okay? So, right here, one hand is on the bench. Grab a dumbbell, all right? I'm gonna row it up for 12, all right? So, one, two, three, four. Focusing on my back. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, all right? For the sake of saving time, I've got another arm. I'm gonna do the same thing. If you saw, I got a little tired towards the end. That's normal. It's called lifting weights because it's heavy, okay? So, bicep shoulder, row, third exercise. I'm gonna retest what we did here. Dips, remember the dips? Yes. You see, I love the dips. Let's only do 30 seconds, why? Because we just lifted heavy weight. So your, your arms are gonna be tired. So we do one minute in the test day, but today we're doing 30 seconds. Or to make it easy, because I don't wanna use my stopwatch, let's just do 30, all right, do your best. So one, two, exercises total, right? If you need to rest now, rest, take a drink, last thing, retest the treadmill, all right? So let's just get on there for a second. We're only gonna do 30 seconds this time. Getting on there, like I said, it's pretty easy. This treadmill takes longer than I would like, but I wanna check in with you. Week two, we have week three coming up. We did great. You repeat this exercise that we did today one more time this week. I recommend that you get, take one day of rest before you do it. I'm only asking two days a week, okay? Do it with your friend, get a smart support system. Walk into a jog, walk in and out. 30 seconds and we're done, folks. And you can pause me in between each set. Instead of keeping going. Or you can do off the whole thing, a monster circuit, and come back. You have three intervals on here. Last 30 seconds, finishing on the treadmill. Yeah, baby! Here we go. I want you to get to the point where you're like, I don't know if I can go any further. And you go further, and you see that you're showing that you can even imagine, all right? 15 seconds down. 10 left. So 
hard. <sighs> Wish you could feel my heart. It's beating. So, walk on here a little bit. Thank yourself for doing it another time. Week two done. See you next week. Good job.